Now, China has intensified its bid to lay claim on the island of Taiwan. And its latest move, the Chinese cabinet has laid out an elaborate plan to turn its coastal province into a model zone for quote-unquote integration with the island. Now, Beijing unveiled a series of guidelines to convert the southeastern Fujian province into a demonstration area for integrated development across the Taiwan Strait. The aim of this process is to promote the process of what China is calling a peaceful reunification with Taiwan. For a long time now, Beijing has multiple times publicly vowed to bring Taiwan under its control by force, if necessary. Now, this is how the Asian superpower plans to begin the process of reunification with the island. China looks at more people-to-people -people exchange with Taiwan. Strike down the need to register for temporary residence in the Fujian province. Also encouraging Taiwanese people to settle in the coastal mainland, buy houses and be a part of the social welfare system. Beijing also plans to pump in and facilitate greater trade and investment with Taiwan. Meanwhile, the current Taiwanese leader of Democratic Progressive Party strongly leans towards independence for her region. Now, elected in 2016, she has since been opposing China's integration plans. But China's outright claim on the island is well-timed. It comes at an important political juncture for Taiwan. The latter is just four months away from a high-stakes presidential election. Xi Jinping's efforts to escalate the integration process can also be seen that it's China's military aggression. Now, in the last three days, Taiwan has tracked at least 84 warplanes and 33 warships of the Chinese military. On Wednesday alone, 28 Chinese Air Force planes were spotted in Taiwan's air defense zone. Uh,国防部陆续发现中共的包含歼十、歼十六、苏凯三十，呃，以及其他的有人机跟无人机呃配合。那么呃，穿越了台海的中线以及西南的延伸线。那么我们依据整个情资的研判，判断啊，它是在
Right. Uh, Paul, you are speaking to us from Taipei, the Taiwanese capital. So who to answer this better than you? China is making a visible push to sway the people of Taiwan from urging to settle in the coastal mainland to asking to buy houses under social welfare system. Do you think this will change how Taipei sees Beijing? Well, I think the more that China uh, implement a policy like this, uh, attract more Taiwanese to 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 either migrate, move or study or do business in China. Ironically, the the, the less support there will be domestically within Taiwan for their for a, for the unification cause. It's because the more that you are basically attracting, uh, move, you are basically moving the people who are most likely to support China away from Taiwan to China. So, and these people, they will be having less uh, influence and votes uh, uh, within Taiwan. So that, that policy, if the, if the goal of that policy is to uh, to change Taiwan's public opinion and electoral outcome, it likely won't succeed. But on the other hand, if the goal is to just to get to, to get the Taiwanese who are most sympathetic to China or who are who the, whose skills, whose money, whose business uh, they they wanted, then 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 that's probably the, the, I, I think that's what they are aiming for. But I don't right. see how that would change Taiwan's politics. All right, Paul. Thank you for speaking with us on this broadcast and getting us all those insights. Thank you. Thank you, Ben.